semi-final of the Tour Championship, perfectly poised at the halfway stage. All square here in Manchester between Gary Wilson and Ronnie O'Sullivan, leaving a fantastic conclusion ahead of us tonight. Taking you through the first four frames in the commentary box are Stephen Hendry and Phil Yates. But first, to introduce the players, here's our MC, Phil Seymour. Thanks, Jill. Good evening and a very warm welcome to the day of the first semi-final here at the Johnson's Paint Tour Championship. We're locked up at four frames all in a race to 10, and this crowd are already here in Manchester! <laughs> it's time now to welcome your semi-finalists. We begin with this season's Scottish and Welsh Open champion. He's the Tyneside Terror, Gary Wilson! <laughs> Breaking eight time Masters and UK champion and seven time champion of the world, the Rockets, Ronnie O'Sullivan. This is a special occasion. And for Gary Wilson, yes, he's been in a Crucible semi-final. Yes, he's won three world ranking titles. But this one of the most important high-profile sessions of his life. Settle down now, please. Thank you. Yeah, you the can ninth hear frame. From the, the shouts Gary Wilson from the crowd. That uh, I think. Well, it seems like 99% of this crowd want an O'Sullivan victory, so that's what Gary's got to blank out and even use it as a bit of motivation tonight against this man at the table. So important when you're playing Ronnie O'Sullivan in a double session match to stay with him after the first session. That's exactly what Gary's done. So, start again tonight, but I agree with you, Phil. This is probably the, the biggest occasions of his career. So, no doubt about it. If he wants to go to the next level in the game, you know, he's won these three home nations tournaments. If he wants to step up and go to the next level, win these big events, He's got to cope with this atmosphere and produce his best snooker. For Ronnie Sullivan, this is just another day at the office. Yeah, trying to reach what would be his 64th ranking tournament final. But this afternoon, Wilson showed a lot of psychological strength after that contentious decision in the, the sixth frame. Many other players might have collapsed, not him. He thrived. Put some fire in the belly. Well, a decent run of the ball will help. That was a nice flick through the cue ball behind yellow and brown and a bolt cushion. I should see how this session starts tonight. First two frames this afternoon were a bit scrappy. Didn't see anything in O'Sullivan's play this afternoon that worried me, with one notable exception. On 30 in the last frame of the opening session, he took on a very risky and some would say ill-advised double. Apart from that, he was the epitome of discipline 
and he needs to be again. Already is two or three safety shots, Gary Wilson, where he could have easily have left Ronnie with pots, and he's not done. Nice running the ball so far. That safety shot was obviously overhit, the cue ball coming in and out of bulk. Ronnie Sullivan's playing the thin edge of the, the red and the left cushion. That's such a difficult shot. Mm, it's not very often you see Ronnie Sullivan play a containing safety shot. It was decided there was no path back to bulk. Left a half a chance to the left middle for Gary Wilson. will be an interesting shot choice. So easy to lay the snooker, but the yellow is on to right middle. It's not easy. And right in the middle of the pocket. You would expect, or I, would, I expect Ronnie Three. to make a start tonight than he did in the afternoon. This is the obviously the session to win the match. Four. It was a bit slow at the blocks this afternoon. Eleven. Well, I must say, Ronnie O'Sullivan's been a professional for 32 years now. He's seen venues come and go. Rarely is a new addition 
as good as this one. When we went to Alexandra Palace for the first time, you just knew it was going to be a cut above. And that's the same with Manchester Central. We've only been here for a week, but it's plainly obvious. 17. This place is simply ideal for snooker. And the good folk of Manchester, they made this tournament. 18. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. You've played all over the world, Steve, and I think you'll agree this venue fits snooker like a glove. Thirty-two. Yeah, it's been... Fabulous all week, isn't it? Even the mixed doubles at the weekend. The crowds have been fantastic. Well, that's the shot of the break so far. <laughs> Beautiful. 40. Oh. What? An explosive Sean kick. Sullivan, Sean Murphy suffered one There's a big mark on the red a number of years ago, and it went viral. That was, I think, equally extraordinary. Yeah, that was horrible. But I, it's bad luck, obviously, but the sympathy I've got from him is tinged by the fact that he's still using the old chalk that no one else uses. The new chalk, you just don't get kicks. Ronnie... It's persistent with the, the old triangle chalk. And, uh, basically, the, the whole rest of the tour basically know that it's no good. So it's a risk that he takes, but that's still, you have to say, very unfortunate. Just when he looked like he was going to take the frame. It was just a walloping kick. Ever Eight. hear him moaning about it, he just gets on with it. Nine, but a little early psychological blow. Gary Wilson could deal here to his opponent, <coughs> somehow get a counter attack and win the frame at this visit. And Gary's got the, the kind of personality you'd take great pleasure 15. in metaphorically putting the boot in. The two hurdles are there, plain to see. One red on either side cushion. Thirty-one. Thirty-four. 
38. 39. Well, he's dropped into a lovely rhythm here, Gary Wilson, in this break. Playing at a really nice pace. Really confident pace. So the last of the easy reds. That is where the the work starts. Forty six. Win the frame. Right here. Forty seven. Yeah, it's pretty good. The last thing he wanted was to be straight on the red 52. there. 52. This is not easy. These pockets are very tight down the cush. Wilson retains his 100% record, potting with the rest today. A little shake of the head. Tells me it's maybe not a natural angle, just a pop. That means the cue ball will automatically can in the red. Yeah, needed some sort of manipulation of the, the cue ball to make the cannon. 60. Mark Williams spotted the last red. Quite similar to this during his miraculous clearance against Tom Ford. Into a different pocket, but a very similar kind of pot. They are not easy at all. Hence, the refusal. Jeez. Gary Wilson, 60. Very impressive visit to the table, though, from Gary Wilson. Important that he answered back with a fine break of his own in this frame. First frame of the evening should be his. Blue and yellow will get the job done. Six. Wilson back in front for the first time since 2 1. 15. And while he's played nicely in this frame, you have to say it revolved around that physics defying kick. 20. Twenty six. Gary Wilson, a double ranking event winner this season, is not succumbing to the aura of the Rockets. Wilson leads 5 4. You know, shocks occur in every sport. This would be a big one. Before a ball was struck today, Gary. Frame 10. To win this match, Ronnie, Ronnie O'Sullivan, O'Sullivan considered by the bookmakers a 6-1 to one on certainty. That is not the case now.
I think I hate that shot more than any other shot in snooker. I think Gary Wilson's just played the dump shot, as we call it. Just a, I know it's a containing shot, but it's so often leads to awkward frames. Fortunately, Ronnie was able to get the cue ball back into bulk. And not the best shot. Giving his opponent a look at a red to right corner. Which I'm absolutely shocked. After the frame is just played, why is he not taking the red onto right corner? Strange shot choice for me. I can only think he didn't fancy playing it with left hand side because he would have had to do that to avoid contact in other reds. He obviously didn't fancy it. Wow. Well, it's an unforced error. Gary Wilson has already displayed a lot of heart, a lot of grit to get this far in the tournament. Beating Mark Selby 10 8 and then Zhang Gander by the same score. He went 8 7 down to Zhang in very disappointing circumstances. Six. On a break of 60, he missed a really simple red, needing only the blue in addition. And a cleared up with 55, Seven. and you thought, well, maybe Wilson's goose is cooked. Far from it. He played three really good frames from there on in to prevail. And again today at 4-2, you thought the match was slipping away. But he's proving stubborn. That kick that Ronnie O'Sullivan got in the first frame is well, it's proven already to be a huge moment at the start of the second session because you you would have had to have expected that Ronnie would go on and win the frame he right. was right in amongst the balls no reason to think otherwise but the change in the match now is incredible Gary Wilson's flying 20 overhit that one though played for the blue and I've got a bit more work to do with the cue ball. I'm not sure if he can even screw directly into the main bunch from the yellow here. That's an option. Lots of cue power required here. Here we go. How's your luck? No, plenty of luck, but all bad, unfortunately. 22. left a plant to left corner. Those four reds around the pink spot. No, they're not available. And he's 
protection from the yellow. A little bit fortunate. Who could begrudge him that, though, after what happened in the first frame? Gary Wilson. Ronnie can get through to this red to left corner. I'm not sure where they can avoid the cue ball going into other reds, though. <laughs> no, I couldn't, so I had to get the pot. I thought it was a very good pot. Somewhat awkward queuing on the blue. That's why the green is being looked at again. Snooker fans to January in the World Grand Prix. Ronnie O'Sullivan beat Gary Wilson 5-1, and he had a dream run in that match, or more precisely, Wilson had a, a nightmare run. Ronnie Thankfully for five. Wilson on this occasion. The O'Sullivan fluke did not lead to a frame-winning contribution. Gary Wilson one, Ronnie O'Sullivan four, free ball. Well, oh, what an error. Oh, 
Gary Wilson be relieved that that was a say glaring error not to reach the brown in anything except I suppose now being glued to the bolt cushion. This red that is going to come thin off the right hand side of it as we look. Probably one of the most difficult safety shots in snooker. Hitting across the object ball, full length of the table from tight under the bolt cushion. And he's going to the red in the middle of the table. Instead, it's a little bit easier a shot. Red is the right middle for Ronnie, but the colours are not ideal at all. One. Not a single colour where it should be. Yeah, just a few signs of frustration. And Ronnie Sullivan's body language at the moment. Let's see, he was in full flow until he got that kick in the first frame. Since then, he seems to have, along with his opponent's play, just got to him a little bit. That's rescued the situation really well. That pot in the blue, getting that back on its spot. These days, Stephen, lots of players Six. display ambidextrous skills, but there's none better than O'Sullivan. Seven. Twelve. Thirteen. He's got an angle, he may be tempted to play topspin off the right cushion, lots of right hand side, a cannon into black, green and red. And decided against it. Maybe just didn't have enough angle, thought it was on the shot. 18. And this cue ball needs to run. 19. That is no good there. That's a very rare occurrence. Ronnie Sullivan finished short in the blue. Can he leave himself some sort of pot? He's done well, really, to get the cue ball there. 24. Second time in the break. Now Sullivan's left-handed ability is coming to the fore, and look where the cue ball is. This time on the correct side of the blue. No, surely it's the cannon into, say, a red, black, and green here. Oh, that was a big target. Still on this red, though. So can he get an 30. angle again on the blue? to go for the cannon a second time. 31. Let's just run a bit far. It's still on the cannon. Just means you've got to really nip the cue ball a bit more. It was asking an awful lot, even for a genius. Oh. 34. He likes that 
pocket. Thirty-seven. No, I didn't see any apology, apology after that red, so maybe it was a kind of pot, speculative pot come safety. Whatever. Forty-two. On this second frame. Sullivan, 42. The break ends at 42. Yeah, He's got a light on the front. His lead is 27. So Wilson needs two snookers, but if he pots the brown, he'll only need one on the blue. Four. Yeah, I suppose a little bit premature of me to see Ronnie's won the frame. It would be decent effort for Gary Wilson to get the snooker. Nine. We normally say to get the, the six-point foul, you probably have to lay about at least half a dozen snookers and, to get one that finally brings the foul from your opponent. Of course, with the blue still on the table, extra ball means supposedly a better chance of snookers, but he could only have forced a re-spotted black with a five-point penalty, whereas if he gets a six-point penalty, Wilson could plunder the frame outright. Sullivan six. Surely that's that. Indeed it is. There we saw a Ronnie Razzle Dazzle. 42 break. Very entertaining. Five all. Hey, Gary. Off we go again for frame 11. The 11th frame. Gary Wilson to break. You know, this season's been golden for Ronnie O'Sullivan, even by his standards. Five big tournaments won. He's played 47 matches on tour and won 40 of them. If that record is going to be enhanced, he'll need to mind his P's and Q's from here on in.
seasoned observers of Ronnie O'Sullivan will know when he has those short spells in matches where the mask of discipline slips a little. It was certainly the case at points in frame 10, but I think now he's won it and he's back on level terms. The match play head will be back on. So often in these long matches, Ronnie will have a burst where he'll kind of just go into overdrive and win three, four, five frames in the blink of an eye. Still yet to happen. Hmm. Ronnie went back to his chair shaking his head, he's smiling. I think he's just completely forgot about this plant that he's left Gary Wilson. This is a gift. Where's the cue ball going to end up though? Mm, not great. One. I think the pink is on to left middle. Blue's a possibility. He's looking at the black. Oh, this is a brave shot, this pink. It's the sort of shot I feel if you turn down, it sends a little message to your opponent. in his top five shots of the match for me. We've got golf's masters at Augusta next week. And that's the equivalent of one of those knee-knocking five-footers downhill with lots of break for par. You don't want to take them on, but you know you have to knock it in. And when you do, it makes you feel good. Seven. It's happened a lot today in this match where the, the colours have been tied up. A lot of the frames have not been open. In this case, it's the two highest value colours, pink and black, out of commission. Eleven. Sixteen.
17. As Stephen explained, with the colours tied up, had to do something with the cue ball there, and when you've got bridging like this, it's a, a real stretch. Sure. Well, this red will possibly bring the black into play. It's quite an aggressive shot choice. Gary Wilson, 22. I'm not sure if Ronnie's got the angle on this red to stun the cue ball round the back of the black for it into the same pocket. So there is room to get the cue ball underneath the black. Played the direct screw and it's One. worked out nicely. I don't, so I don't think he played the cannon off that red, but he's on the black. Not easy bridging. Nope, not there. Oh, it is there. Oh, I, I was just about to say he doesn't want to kick here. <laughs> like, the, like the other shot, bridging over the spider. The black Eight. is a clear, clearly a fan of Ronnie O'Sullivan because I'm astounded that fell. That caught the near jaw. OK, at pocket weight, but even then... Wow, that's a very... That's as poor a shot as Nine. Ronnie's played all week. Blue may still be potable. Cubo should have been nowhere near there. Into the pink and two reds here. Foul. Right. Ronnie O'Sullivan, nine. Foul. Gary Wilson, five. Is it for a push? Oh, no, no, I knew he was going for the blue. The sound and the reaction, that's it. Oh, it was a push. Push through it. I'm not sure about that, Phil. Is that, is that a push shot? Well, this is very sporting from Gary Wilson, first off. No. Well, it didn't look or sound fine to me, so no, Gary, no. I'm, I'm not... With that one, I'm not, because you need sound as well, so no. Every credit to Gary Wilson there, regardless of the, the decision. It was a sporting thing to do. He asked Paul Collier if he could check that. Paul refused. You might have heard Paul Collier say he called push because of the sound and B, the reaction. Yeah. 
I don't know, and I'm not copping out either. What I will say is that Ronnie O'Sullivan clearly was surprised. Yeah, I mean, listen, the referee's got a closer view of it than us, and he can not only see the shot, he can hear the shot, the connection. It was quite an acute angle to play a push. And well, that's clearly seems to have knocked Ronnie off a little bit. The last two pot attempts have been not close at all. These controversial push shot decisions seem to follow Gary Wilson around in his first match in defence of the Scottish Open in the vital portion of the match against Elliot Slesser. Slesser was convinced that Wilson had played a push. Wilson said no and ended up winning the match. The one good thing about that little incident was that it's not going to have a, a great material effect on this frame. Although, if O'Sullivan had remained in, he might have stayed in. Four. Where the balls are, every pot that Wilson can complete here will strengthen his hand. Six. Well, it could have been worse. He has got pots on. <laughs> this red to, to right corner. To left. Trusting a little bit with the cue ball here. Seven. Decent effort. That's very tight. I mean, you 
could risk playing it with a touch of right hand side. Try and square up the angle. Very dangerous shot to play. That's a great shot. Very good. Fourteen. Gary Wilson, fourteen. <coughs> A good visit that ended with a not so good shot. Amazing how first frames of sessions can dictate how the rest of it goes. Go back Six. again to that kick that Ronnie got when he was looked certain to win the first frame in one visit. This night could have taken a whole different Seven. turn. Now he's struggling a bit, especially with the cue ball, which is very unusual for Ronnie Sullivan. It's the best cue ball in the game, best has ever been. Everything's a bit hard work at the moment. Twelve. Thirteen. Again, that cue ball's just travelled literally a couple of millimetres too far. I mean, he's got more angle in this red. Okay, he should still pot it, no problem, but more angle than he wanted. 20. Mm, does he risk brushing off the other red and playing for the black here? He thought about it. He went to, he went up the cue ball. 21. And then decided against it, went low to avoid the red. So this is a shot that could determine the frame. In many respects, that shot symptomatic of his day so far. Really unlucky. Maverick. Yeah, I suppose he thought that was a big pocket with the other red there. Thirty-two. It was such a careless safety shot from Gary Wilson. Whether it was a sort of half-hearted attempt at the double, but to leave that red over the right middle. But even then, he must have thought, well, I might get back to the table. It's not the best table to make a, a one-visit clearance, but look at it now. It's the genius of a Sullivan to turn in an awkward table into a winning one in the blink of an eye. 40. 42. At the vast majority of tournaments, this, if it's successful, could be a candidate for clearance of the week. It won't beat Mark Williams's 
first round effort to deny Tom Ford in the decider. But it's a wonderful effort nevertheless. Forty five. Forty nine. Before. It's been another incident packed frame. On the O'Sullivan, 54 on the frame. But when push came to shove, O'Sullivan delivered. <laughs> what a big frame coming up next. Ronnie O'Sullivan <laughs> regaining the lead at 6-5. If he can push on to 7-5, then you start to think, well, Gary Wilson's so far stubborn resilience start to be a little diluted. Thank you, frame 12. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Totally botched break off from O'Sullivan. If he gets away with this, he's been really fortunate. Eyeing this red up to the far left corner. Pretty clever with the cue ball. Okay, he's left Gary this red to left middle, but this is far from easy. I mean, even have it nicely snookered by the jaw of the middle pocket. For the red to right corner. <laughs> yeah, I agree. This is a big one, one for Guy Wilson because I think going into the interval two frames behind, I think Ronnie probably pulls away. So a very important visit to the table, this for Gary Wilson. Show Ronnie that he's still there. He's not Wilton. Five. <coughs> Six. Eleven. Twelve. Uh, Sullivan knows from past experience that Wilson can be spirited. And they met in the first round of the World Championship in 2017. It was a really good contest. Wilson made a couple of centuries and only ended up beating 10-7. 19. And of course, as we mentioned this afternoon, Wilson did beat O'Sullivan 4-3 on the way to winning the Scottish Open for the first time in 2022. 
held himself together with a 73 break in the decider. Twenty. might have been a bit more aggressive there because you see where the cue balls ended up in the middle of the pack if he'd played that with pace top spin he could have gone into the bunch there brought more into play kind of a bit of a nothing shot especially if you look now where the black's gone now you're getting a color from 27. here Oh, that's a brilliant shot. 28. From where he was. He's done so well to get the cue ball even to there. Without fouling the red. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. A beautiful angle in the blue to go into the top red of the bunch, bring them into play. No, still picking off the loose reds. I'm not sure if the red that's touching the black is available to left corner. Thirty-nine. Is he'll probably play for that one. Forty. And that shot tell me it does tells me it does go. And there's a red, the three reds at the bottom of the pack, the right hand side red I think is available. Possibly to right middle. But this is good stuff from Gary Wilson as I say, just showing Ronnie he's still there. He's not weakening weakening at all. Composure looks good. Focus looks good. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Mm, that's end of break, I think, after this black. I'm not sure it's got any angle at all to bring reds into play. Oh, dead straight, you can see it there. Played for the double. Top red, right middle. 54. Gary Wilson, 54. When you've got to propel the red quite a distance into the cushion to play a double like that, they are so difficult to judge. It was always wide. Useful lead, though. One. Yeah, fabulous pop. But similar to Gary previously. No angle in the black, well, just the slightest angle. My eyes, he just brought that red. Into Eight. play to the left middle pocket. Nine. No, these, are, these two reds have just been incredible. But 
that view, it looks like the red flies in. But when you're behind the red looking into the pocket, sometimes the view's completely different. And I think he's playing the split. It's okay. Got one to the far right corner. Okay, not easy. And slightly 16. bridging over the black. But if this goes in, he goes favourite to win the frame. O'Sullivan, 16. So close. That's the problem with those shots. The thin angle. Get so close but they don't go in. The red just stays there. Yeah, those One. Now 37 points behind. Ronnie is favourite now to win this frame. And as we've already mentioned, big frame. He cleared up with 54 to snatch Three. frame 11 when the balls were configured very awkwardly. Four. Here, they're pretty much perfect. Nineteen. Twenty. You just get a sense. The red that Ronnie potted a few minutes ago up to the green pocket. You just get a sense he that he that he can sense that this is a big moment in this match. That's why he took the red 25. on. You can almost see his 26. focus and <clears throat> increase. That's what makes him the winning machine that he is. Thirty. Thirty-two. say quite a lot this game's about fractions. Gary Wilson doesn't finish straight in the black. He can maybe open the reds up. He maybe wins the frame. He doesn't. He finishes straight. End of break. And 39. he's lost the frame. Blue and pink needed. 44. Sullivan. Would you please welcome back to the table your referee, Paul Collier, and your semi-finalists, Gary Wilson and Ronnie O'Sullivan. Well, it's been a very exciting and indeed eventful match this. But Gary Wilson is back two frames behind. Thank you, frame 13, Gary Wilson. As he was, break. of course, when he trailed 4-2. So this is the final 
mini session, no more intervals, first to ten to reach the final of the Tour Championship. Wilson has competed superbly in this match, but just the odd frame tonight has gone the other way. It's made the difference. Well, it's been a terrific match so far. It's been a, something of a brawl, hasn't it, with lots of shots being played. The odd incident. Sullivan has managed to gain a two-frame lead. He's not anywhere over the line yet you feel <coughs> being almost matched i think by wilson clearly that last frame to take him in front could well be very big Sullivan, the uh, plaster on his thumb. Not sure what's happened there. Eight. Really, it's a big match for Wilson, isn't it? You know, he's won three ranking titles in no. recent times. He's been a World Championship semi-finalist. But in terms of, does he now go up another level from there? Winning a match like this, maybe winning a tournament like this. Fourteen. Fifteen. Yes, he doesn't hang around either. He's a pretty quick player. Can win frames. Twenty-two. Almost as quickly as the man he's playing can do. Twenty-three. Yeah, I think he has really good presence around the table. You know, he doesn't look like he's going to be intimidated by anybody. It's definitely a good way to be at this game. 30. He can be a little bit too agreeable sometimes out there, especially playing the man he's playing tonight. It's not really his style. Off the table, he's a good guy. But on it, he plays it tough. Makes it about himself, which is really what it is when you're out there. 31. Got a slight angle. Not too many reds available, if any. Obviously, the red on the right, but you have to get behind it somehow. 30. Uh, he'll be happy with that because he didn't quite catch the red. That red could have finished anywhere, the one red that came out. He 
Is it a three ball plant? That's what he's now eyeing up. Well, the, those two reds are in line, but the uh, the red, the left hand red of the three is, is not quite square up to the other two. Thirty seven. Oh, that is a fabulous positional shot if he's on that top red. What a shot. There was not 39. an acre of room to land in. Beautiful shot. You've really got to trust in your control, your ability to get that keyboard wherever you want to be to play that shot. Forty. Now, is it three ball plant or two ball plant? There's some reds all lined 47. up. 47. Yeah. If it wasn't for the left hand red, this would be a certainty. I'm not so sure it is. Gary Wilson, 47. The first red was, as I said, below the other two. They were in line. But the first red was the reason that was missed. It threw it offline. Of course, he's 54 in front in the last frame and lost it. 47 in front here. Foul. Gary Wilson. All happening, four. isn't it, in this match? All action. Yeah, another big shot in a match full of them. 51 in front. Already. One. For the chance to pull one back. <laughs> Just thinking when Gary was a teenager, he uh, was, the Nations Cup was played in Newcastle and he was invited along from the snooker club, effectively as a mascot, to sort of meet the senior players. Ronnie O'Sullivan played in that. And now here we are, all these years later, 25 years later, in fact, Gary Wilson standing up to him. Six. Seven. There, Forty. red colour. Not a one visit frame, but a two would certainly suffice at this stage. Fifteen. Yeah, this black, effectively for seven six. He's come out after the interval 32. looking really good, looking really determined to take the fight to O'Sullivan for the rest of the night. He's got a really good control of the cue ball, even that last black to nudge the reds. He knows exactly where that ball is going. Yes, he's probably up against the greatest break builder and 
touch player we've got. In fact, there's ever been, but... 28. He's got a very good play, Gary Wilson. Good game. And when he's good, he is exceptionally good. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Yeah, and all of the excitement of the way that Judd Trump and Ronnie O'Sullivan, Mark Allen... He has won two ranking events this season, Gary Wilson. Home Nation's 44. very tough. One, two, eight. Players starting out. Only one goes home with the... The win. Now he's a proper player. Fifty one. Fifty two. Fifty seven. Fifty-nine. He's looked so comfortable in this frame. Sixty-two. Real, as I say, determination about the way he's striding around the table. Sixty-six. These two putting on a, a real show for this capacity crowd. And it's about to get even more dramatic. Still potential six frames left. 77. So two visits, 47. Gary Wilson, 84. 84 clearance from Gary Wilson, exactly what he needed when they resumed after the interval. The O'Sullivan advantage is reduced to 7-6. Dester Central buzzing here with this terrific semi-final. The first semi-final, of course, tomorrow... Here at the Tour Championship. It's Thank on your you, marks frame with 14. Alan and Williams. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. O'Sullivan 7 6. Wilson has dominated frame 13. 84, the uh, second break. He was already 47 in front. They're both really going for it as well, aren't they? You know, they're taking on their shots, trying to make things happen. Well, it's a proper tear up, isn't it? These two, and O'Sullivan usually is the. The player who wins these sort of matches when they go this way. Just hit the wrong side of that one. Needs a bit of help here. I don't know where anything's going to finish. It's not a simple red, this. You know, it looks easy, but the way he's queuing it from the cushion. Cubal coming down towards the bulk colours. It's not an absolute gimme to start. Nicely played. You see, the black is always what O'Sullivan is eyeing up from the start of any break. See if he can get it into play. At the moment, he's a little awkward, but it's not possible he could free it. <coughs> Red at the bottom of the top of the bunch is also on there, you can see. Three. No, it's an early in in a frame, but it's still got to be worked upon. Balls are not exactly perfect. Four. Nine.
10. Sixteen. Twenty-two. Yes, he's just looking at if the blank was potable to the left corner from quite low on the right side. Because he's got to think about what happens with the red that follows is blue. So he was thinking about three shots ahead there, whether he comes up with that for the shot. He's got to make a plan on going. Don't know if he can play the shot he was looking at to get on that black. Walks a bit close quarters down there. Yeah. He played on it, but I'm not sure he is on it. No way. That is not possible. Yeah. What an attempt. He tried to free the 35. three reds or do something with those, although he's on that one to middle. Sullivan, 35. Well, the worst shot, worse than missing, was the red coming back and disturbing the three reds and the black. The movement that uh, went along with it. Over to Gary Wilson then. To try and hit back in this frame. At the moment, it feels like having a, a sort of boxing match on the edge of a cliff. Every shot of every visit seems big. Okay. Certainly need the player going into their shell. Both going for it. No. Yeah, that was also a good red to play on, wasn't it? The one that was blocking off the black. Sullivan, I think he's more than a little bit concerned. But one thing he will be uh, noting is that his opponent is not intimidated by him. 16. 17. <laughs> Now, the chance to go into the five reds with the red out in open play always there as your backup. The lovely player really is in absolutely terrific form. 24. 25. Yeah, I mentioned obviously from the northeast, there was a the guy there, Stan Chambers, who did coaching clinics and ran junior tournaments, just gave youngsters the opportunity to play snooker, to learn about snooker. Such an important figure I know in Gary's life. Sadly, Stan passed away a couple of years ago, but he always mentions him. The three Thank ranking you. events he's won, he's always mentioned Stan Chambers in his victory speech. Thirty-three. Great pace as well, isn't he? He's not sort of hesitantly walking into the shot, worried about missing. A bit nervy on that 39. last shot, though, wasn't he? he? wasn't certain it was going to go in off the top jaw, and he 
ever so slightly overrun. Forty. Feel that the tension is beginning to mount in this break. He's coped well with scoring what he has, but this is the point where the frame can be won. Gotta keep going. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Now, you're going to play into the pink here and just play the cannon to free the red below it. Beautiful. Beautiful little cannon. Delightful. Fifty-five. Fifty-six. Yeah, Sullivan took on that red to right middle. It came back, it disturbed to the reds. Left one on for Wilson. And now what a chance. He's not got much more to do. Two more pots, in fact, to level the match. Just let that one run a little bit as well, didn't he? Yes, 63. the last... Shot, really, isn't it? Over this ball. Yeah, no problem. And he wouldn't have deserved to, to uh, have, if you like, fallen at the last hurdle there. It's been a lovely break. 68. Well, this is like a duel, isn't it? Who's going to blink first? 69. Yeah, you know, Sullivan looking on, of course, the ready missed the middle. The keyboard, the red came back into the three reds, which were tying up the black, and they were no longer tied up, basically. But he's taken them so well. 74. Yeah, Gary Wilson was something of a late bloomer in terms of reaching top of the game, but now he's well and truly come of age as a bona fide top player, proving it here 83. today, refusing to be intimidated by his opponent, by the occasion, in fact, relishing it. Made 84 in the last frame, 89. this black for a clearance of 96. Another fabulous Gary Wilson, by Gary Wilson. What a match we're watching here in Manchester this evening. And we're all square once again, seven each. Welcome back, seven each. Gary Wilson in 22 minutes has won the two post interval Thank frames. You for eight, First 15. attempt to get Gary to Wilson the Tour to Championship break. final. He's not just won the frame, he's won them handsomely. Breaks of 84, 96. Sullivan, uh, having looked at the shot, as the, I think he decided that Wilson's safety shot was a good shot. Under his breath, I think that's what he said. It's not left him a, an easy way back there to where he is now with that cue ball.
very rare you see a Sullivan player with a, a nothing shot like that, but he didn't really have anywhere else to go. So maybe a, another plan for O'Sullivan. He's tried the mixing it with Gary Wilson, but he stood up to all that. Will O'Sullivan then try and tie him down now? Will that be the new way of approaching this match for him? He seems to have many ways he can win, O'Sullivan. But Gary Wilson is giving him plenty to think about. Uh, it's going to be anything but O'Sullivan from playing from back there. It's invited him to play from in there. I suppose it's an invitation he's got no choice but to accept, really. Not angled, but still no joy playing in there. It's a really good safety from O'Sullivan and Wilson's caught that a bit thick and sat down looking a bit concerned. Arms folded. striking if anything he played on the blue and he got back too far I think with that cue ball but as was the previous frame it, it's going to take some creating to make this into a sizable break with the high value colours not there Is he going to go into them or is he just trying to pick the reds off with blue and blue colours? Taking that red brings the black into play to the left corner Nine. after this red is gone. Ten. Fifteen. Sixteen. The cue always took a flyer, I think, off the bunch of reds there. Absolutely zipped back. Not in complete control for once. Is he straight enough 21. to play his left handed and hold for the black? Twenty two. And there's your answer. He's just not quite getting the right angle on the blues to the next reds in this break, but he's still going. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. 
35. I think what you'd like to do here is get an angle on the black just to move the two reds directly above it, which are both not possible where they stand. 36. Didn't quite have the angle to play that. 43. 44. Now he's slightly limited what he can do here because he can get to the left side. There might be one red potable to right corner, the one he's looking at, but nothing else will go. Unless, of course, any sort of a plant, which I'm not sure there is. I think he's not gone far enough. The 49. last positional shot, red to blue, was the problem. He was really limited in what he could achieve from it. And he knows that the last frame he got a decent lead and Wilson mopped up. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 49. Yeah, just overdid the white, didn't he, for the blue initially. So 49, but as you say, we've seen all sorts of clearances from both sides in this match. Well, yeah, it doesn't feel like a very big lead in a frame which uh, has been played at a furious pace with the, mostly the balls in open play. Shot times of Sullivan 18 seconds, Wilson 20. When they've been in and scoring, they've just been on the front foot completely, not showing any any hesitation. But of course the safety equally is important. A strange shot to play. He may have felt that just playing up the table wasn't all that easy, but I'm not too sure what he played there. an edge sticking out. Paul Collier was down the line himself because he might have to replace the balls. No, the green's covering by the looks of things. Unless he plays it with side or whatever. Plain ball, I don't think he can get to a red directly. Just a bit of left-hand side. You can bend it around the green. 
but even then it's going to be check side so it'd be very difficult if he did play that shot to get the cue ball anywhere down the other end with left hand side on the ball he had a shot to lay up to the two reds just above the arrow next to his name there's two reds it will be handy it's a really difficult shot to get that cue ball back Yeah, he hasn't achieved it. He was in trouble there. A Sullivan shot was not to be underestimated, actually, from that previous safety to get behind the green in the first place. Of course, he had that monster kick earlier tonight, taking no chances, having the cue ball cleaned. 42 to the good with his chance to retake the lead. Seven. So fifty four the lead. Twelve. Two more pots to get to the snooker's required stage. Thirteen. wrestling the initiative back from Gary Wilson who put together two great frames 20 21 28. Ronnie O'Sullivan, well, 28. Well, the in the end made a big difference. Gary Wilson left the chance. Ronnie O'Sullivan has done enough. So he is back in front here at 8-7. It's left to play. Ronnie O'Sullivan needs two. Gary Wilson needs three. Eight, seven, Thank you, the 16th frame. Times world champion. Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. First staging of the Tour Championship in 2019. In fact, he won a thrilling semi-final that year against Judd Trump, 10-9 on the black. Great clearance he made to pinch it. Played it well, has he got cover on the red? Might be able to play it with a trace of left hand side and take it round the green and pop the red. Oh, oh dear. That was one. The one thing he couldn't really control when he was using that side. To play it at a certain pace to make the shot happen. And this part of it, he didn't really have a lot of say in. I have tried to kiss, kiss the left and red of the bunch and be on the pink. Black. Black one. Nominated black. Tony O'Sullivan won. So often you'd see a player nominate something down the other end of the table there. Bolt colour or something to get away, but. In hitting the black, he's completely nullified any chance of Wilson getting a shot.
Oh, good shot this is. Luckily, not quite getting the cover, but he played it ever so well. You can see his intentions. No, he, he kind of hoped to get the keyboard to a safe space, but the problem is the red followed it. A bit of a loose one there from Gary Wilson for once on that red. When he plays shots with quite a lot of power, the cue does come through very quickly at times. The one time he doesn't see him in the same control with his shots. Five. Six. Twelve. Once again, attacking 13. the key red, which was the red on the black spot. Now... Very quickly, it's become a very serious chance. And that is the magic of O'Sullivan early on in a break, locating 20. a ball he has to remove or an area he wants to land in. 21. Twenty-nine. Yeah, still sitting with those arms crossed. But also, I suspect his fingers crossed, because we've seen a few frames where either player's got in front and then a chance comes, and you have to be ready, of course, to take it. I don't see no Sullivan have the cue ball clean quite as much. Mm, not bad, but not uh, exactly A1 positionally. 36. Thirty-seven. Quite a nice little shot there, because the yellow would have been there had the red had the cue ball strayed onto the cushion. And uh, this looks a bit of a stretch, doesn't it? Goodness me. Black must be easier than that yellow, balancing on the table. I think sometimes players feel when bolt colours sort of end up in most of the spots, they just shouldn't be there. But as you say. Black was the 44. ball. 
45. It's a good shot at making a pretty wide angle out of a just off straight 52. shot. Fifty-three. What's the next red from here? Is the question. It takes some thought. Can you get into the four reds from the blue with left hand running side, or is it playing on a single red? It, all options look uh, uh, something of a challenge. He's finished right in between left corner 58. and right corner where the cue ball's landed. Fifty nine. Well, you heard the applause. What a wonderful shot. Black to lead by 67 with 67 on. Yes. And he's on this red to the middle, which is for 9-7. Another wonderful break, this. 66. Because we've seen 67. it so often, the danger is you sort of take it for granted a bit, but when you really watch, when you really watch, just see how incredible he is. Seventy-four. Seventy-five. So Wilson put together two brilliant frames after the interval, but has been largely shut out since. Yeah, I mean, he, Wilson has completely stood up to O'Sullivan tonight and asked him the question. Eighty-two. And at the moment, O'Sullivan is answering those questions. It's terrific. Twenty-three. He's had a brilliant season, O'Sullivan. But he's played as well tonight as he has on most of those times when he's lifted titles. Yeah, I think 90. what's marked the season is that when he's needed to come good, he has done. And it's happened again here, hasn't it? 91. He's been put under a little bit of pressure by Wilson, but Gary Wilson, in the last two frames, has not potted a ball. Hello. <laughs> Can I clip this red in and go on, I'll make the century? Get in, get in. They're shouting, get in. They're shouting, get in. It's not to be. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 97. And Ronnie O'Sullivan. A wonderful break, that. And he's on the brink of a place in the Tour Championship final. He leads Gary Wilson in this thrilling match, 9-7. Snooker legend Tony Knowles, one of the best known faces of snooker from the boom period of the 1980s, thoroughly enjoying Settle this, I'm there, sure. Please. As everybody is here in Manchester, but for Gary Wilson to enjoy Frame 17. The Sunday, he's gonna to have to Wilson's three. The break. He's 9-7 down. Once again, O'Sullivan has made a move. that gear will slow down it just about has it seems like most parts of his game are fully operational tonight the long game's not bad the mid-range sort of queuing shots the break view the one that's never going to disappear i don't think and the sort of inventiveness of some of the shots he plays worth saying that he did actually play a very important safety shot frame before last in behind the green which 
What about that frame being one? Five. So, as I say, all boxes being ticked. Six. Ten. So Eleven. this is his first chance to get it won, and then it'll be up to either Mark Allen or Mark Williams to deny him on Sunday, because they're here all day tomorrow. <clears throat> yes, I think he can run this through and be on the blacks of the opposite corner without hitting the two reds, which are next to the black. He'd like to avoid those. It's OK, Ronnie. 17. <coughs> so avoid the reds there, but you'll be moving them 18. on this shot. <coughs> Made it look simple, that cannon. He's an artist, isn't he, when he's in amongst them? 25. 26. 33. Well... Could be better on a red, I guess. Got things opened up, so this is another key shot to keep things going. No problem. 34. Forty-five. Forty-six. I think Gary Wilson's done a great deal wrong from seven all, you know. I think it's more about what Ronnie O'Sullivan has done right. Is he on that red by the pink? Crucially. 53. I think he is. And if this goes in, probably curtains. Dash for the line this has been after Wilson so impressively fought back to seven each from seven five down at the interval. You've barely seen him since then. 60. 61. Well, he rattled O'Sullivan's cage and was very good in doing so, and he does get beaten. You go to Sheffield as a seeded player with a chance of going well. But he's just run into the irresistible form of O'Sullivan. He's responded to a terrific crowd, a great venue. And a one. It's a terrific match, though, isn't it? It really has. It really has. But here's the difference between Ronnie O'Sullivan and every other player 75. He's not chasing greatness, he is greatness. 
They're all chasing 76. him still after all these years. First ranking title of 93 UK Championship. His second was April the 7th, 1994, the British Open. And on Sunday, 30 years to the day, he'll be looking to win his 42nd. A career 82. without limits and seemingly without end. Eighty-eight. Eighty-nine. Ninety-six. Yeah. What a finish. Ninety-seven. In true O'Sullivan style. He's won it with a century. He's third of the day. And what a day it's been. Gary Wilson has played his part. In a wonderful match. But from seven each, he barely had a look in. <laughs> it's going to be a 64th ranking final for Ronnie O'Sullivan on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, there were one or two instances in the matches, uh, earlier frames, but I don't think it's got anything to do with this result. Gary Wilson, I think, has accepted it. All in good grace. He's been beaten by the better player, so none of that matters. 111. What matters is what we've watched. It's been a fantastic game of snooker, this. It's why we love the game for nights like this. 116. So this incredible season continues for Ronnie O'Sullivan as he targets a sixth title. 122. It's up to either Mark Allen or Mark Williams to stop him now. Gary Wilson did his best. Chester, 129 clearance from Ronnie O'Sullivan. He marches into the Tour Championship final in fine style. He's won a terrific match here by 10 frames to 7.